Oh, hey, man. I remember for that janitor's position I saw on the Indeed or Outdeed or whatever it's called. Awesome, man. You having a good day? Well, to be honest, I wish it'd just be over, but this day just to keep some punching. I don't believe I caught your name. Oh, it's W. 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 W? W. You're saying W, right? Like W? Like W. 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 Like I said, it just keep punching. Okay, well, anyways, I just need you for cleanup after videos. Like, as you can see, we've made quite a mess, so I just need you to clean that up and clean that up and maybe clean that up. All right, well, um, we should be making phone calls this weekend, and I'll let you know if you got the job or not. Appreciate it. All right, man. See you later. Definitely not calling that guy. What's up everybody? My name is Scott and you're watching Kentucky Ballistics. We're back on the range and today we have another very unique shotgun. Last week we did a video on the Colbray Terminator. You all really seem to like it and I had this shotgun planned for later down the line but you like that video so much I decided to go ahead and do it this week. I'm really excited to show it to you. Really awesome shotgun but before we do let's talk about this a little bit. So this monstrosity is called the KB Bruiser. Why did I make this? I don't know. A lot of cutting to get these to fit up front. Got the logo on the side. Got the wing on top, you know, just in case you get going too fast. Got a chain link steering wheel. And then of course I had to slap the Kentucky Customs logo on the back. I don't know about you, but I'm having a hard time finding anything to watch on YouTube anymore. I mean, besides Kentucky Ballistics, of course, and a few gun channels. But other than that, I don't really have a whole lot to watch. And I bet you're having the same problem too. So if you're looking for more videos to watch while you're eating lunch, maybe you're on break at work, maybe you're using the bathroom, you need to go check out Kentucky Customs because I got a lot more content for you over there. So today I have an Armcell Striker 12, 12 gauge shotgun also known as the Street Sweeper. This is a bad little dude. Six inch barrel and a 12 round rotary drum. So the way this thing works, you've got your 12 round drum, you got this little twisty knob on the front, you put your first round in, give it a twist, next round, give it a twist, next round, you repeat the process until the entire drum is full. After that, all you do is you just twist this thing until it's completely tight, there's a spring in there. So right now it is not ready to fire. When you pull the trigger just a little bit, it locks that cylinder into place, lines that shotgun shell up, ready to be fired. When you pull the trigger all the way, firing pin hits the round, and then when you release the trigger, it rotates the cylinder. Something cool about this is it has an auto ejecting feature. So it taps off a little bit of gas from the round you're shooting and uses that gas to blow your spent casing out that hole. After you fire this thing 12 times, you'll be left with one spent casing still right there in the cylinder. To take out the last spent shell, you just eject it with the ejector rod, and then you can start the lengthy process of loading this thing again. I'm not gonna lie, I got pretty high hopes for this thing. I've kind of fallen in love with it. I think it's really, really cool. Haven't shot it yet. I'm excited to try it out, and I really hope I don't get let down. Before we get started, it's time for a little snack with today's sponsor, Nutrient Survival. It's always good to be prepared for natural disasters or other situations where you might not have food readily available. Nutrient Survival has everything you need. It's really good stuff, and what's really awesome about it is it's packed full of nutrients. This lasagna right here has 40 essential nutrients in it. There's 10 servings per can, and it has up to a 25-year shelf life. 
You just add hot water, cover it, wait four to five minutes, and it's ready to eat. I mixed up a little bit of the Southwestern mix before I came out here, just so you can see the finished product. We got some apple cinnamon oatmeal, creamy chocolate shake. Actually, that one might kill me. I bet you there's milk in that. Non-fat milk. Yep, pass on that one. We got powdered vitamin egg blend. I bet you that's good. Maple almond grain crunch. I've actually tried this. It's really good. And last, we have oh, powdered vitamin milk. Pass on that one. Uh, that'll kill me. But you might like it. Nutrient Survival is a great choice when it comes to food storage and being prepared. Be sure and check them out. There's a link in the description down below. Again, a big thank you to Nutrient Survival for sponsoring today's video. I'm going to shoot this shotgun now. All right, I got some bird shot and some double lot buck. Let's try this thing out. One, two, 20 minutes later. I'll wind this sucker up. And we are ready to fire. All right, let's see how this feels. It's not bad at all. Flip my little door down so we can eject those. <laughs> I just shoots right out of there. All right, got one spent round left in there. Just check that out. Now we can load it back up. <laughs> that is awesome. All right, now I got some double lot buck, two and three quarter inch. Let's see how this feels. <laughs> that was a heck of a muzzle flash. Seemed like that was never going to stop. That is a lot of double lot buck in a very small package. Doesn't look like it ejected any of those out. That's weird. They felt kind of sticky when I was loading them in. I wonder if that had something to do with it. All right, that's enough of that. Time to shoot some stuff. Kind of hard to hit things. <laughs> Much better. That trigger is wearing out my finger. It is just rubbing all in there. Next, we're gonna shoot some sodas. Shake weight. You just got jammed. I forgot to wind it. <laughs> Whoopsies. Much better. Don't forget to wind your straight sweeper. I'm not even gonna tell you what these are. You're just gonna have to guess. All right, up next, I have two one-gallon containers of Miracle Whip. I'm going to try my best not to have an incident like we did last week. You know, I really like this car a lot, but the one thing I don't like about it, the clock doesn't work. It says it's 4.30, but look what time it is. You just got jammed.
This thing is absolutely ridiculous. The street sweeper did a pretty good job of mushing up those watermelons, and I have to say they've been out here probably a little too long. Your mayonnaise isn't exactly good for your paint. I hope you enjoyed today's video as much as I did. What did you think about the street sweeper? Let me know in the comment section down below. If you want to support the channel, the easiest way to do that is by picking up a shirt. If you want to check out Kentucky Ballista's clothing, there's a link in the description down below along with a link to Kentucky Customs. Don't forget to go check that out. Don't forget to give today's video a like, and if you're not subscribed to Kentucky Ballistics, be sure and hit that subscribe button. And if you want more Kentucky Ballistics content, be sure and follow me on Instagram, Patreon, Facebook, and Twitter. Again, thank you so much for watching today's video, and as always, my name is Scott, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>